everyone, good day and welcome back to Mamcon's TV. How are you today? Hope you're all doing well. And for today's video lesson, let us talk about saturated and unsaturated solutions. Are you ready? Let's start! Content Standard the learners demonstrate an understanding of some important properties of solutions. For the learning competency, investigate properties of unsaturated or saturated solutions. Let us first identify if what is a solution. A solution is basically two substances that are evenly mixed together. It is a combination of two components known as solute and solvent. Example is in the picture. As you can see, there is an orange juice and apple juice. Orange juice is a combination of orange extract and water. Orange extract is the solute and water is the solvent. It is same as the apple juice. The apple extract is the solute and water is the solvent. Solutions is known as homogeneous because it appears in one phase only. Now that you know if what is solution, let us talk about saturated and unsaturated solutions. Solubility Solubility is a property referring to the ability for a given substance, the solute, to dissolve in a solvent. It can be saturated and unsaturated. Now what is saturated solution? It is a solution that contains maximum amount of solute by a given amount of solvent. What about unsaturated solution? It contains less solute than the maximum amount it can dissolve. Alright, so for you to be able to understand better if what is a saturated an unsaturated solution, let us have an activity. Let us first identify the materials. We will be needing spoon, sugar, water, and two cups labeled as cup A and cap B. Now, let's start our activity. First thing, put 20 ml or approximately 2 tablespoons of water in each cup. Second, let us add one half tablespoon of sugar in each cup. Let us stir it until the sugar is totally dissolved. Alright, so as you can see, the sugar in cup A were totally dissolved. Same thing as in cup B. So let us add another one half tablespoon of sugar in each cup. And 
and stir it again until the sugar is totally dissolved. So, as you can observe, the sugar is already dissolved. So, in total, we, are we have put one tablespoon of sugar in each cup. So, let us add another one half tablespoon of sugar. Again, based on my observation, and you will observe it too, sugar in both cups were dissolved. So let's add another one half tablespoon of sugar and stir it. At this point, sugar in both cups were dissolved. So this time, we will try for the solubility of sugar in cup A. So let's add another one half of sugar in cup A and stir it. So let us try to observe the sugar in cup A. So, there are sugar granules at the bottom of the cup. So, it says that we have, have reached the saturation point of the cup A, while the cup B describes to you an unsaturated solution because it contains a less amount of solute than the total amount it can dissolve. We have put two and a half tablespoon of sugar in cup A, which is saturated, and we have put two tablespoon of sugar in cup B, which describes that it is the unsaturated solution. Yes, hope that this activity helped you in understanding saturated and unsaturated solution. Remember that a saturated solution contains maximum amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent, while unsaturated solution contains less amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent in a particular temperature. Alright, so that is all about saturated and unsaturated solutions. So, this is Mamkon again saying never stop learning!